All right, we're back with more hype. More? more. Yay! Yay! That's... Oh, boy. Who, I'm so glad. Who doesn't love Hype the Time Quest? With your... your I still love his slow walk there. His just slow strut is so great. Yeah. Oh, hype. Yeah. So, um... I mean, do you want to just jump right into not talking about Hype the Time Quest? Let's jump right into right it. Right into <laughs> talking about Hype the Time So what have, what have you been playing this week that's not Hype the Time Quest? Uh, chess? Nothing. Ch I have I've not really been playing anything of note, of no. real particular interest. Well, that's a shame. I mean, I did play this today. Yep. That... That yep. really brought me down. Yeah. It's... Ugh. Yep. Oh, <laughs> same areas, over and over. Well, but, I mean, this one, you didn't have those tall trees in the last time, I don't think. Yeah, you, what? Well, in, in the other eras. Oh. I mean, in fairness to this game, you are going to get a lot of re repetition when you're traveling the same area in four different time periods. It's a good way to make one area seem like four areas. Yup. But I do feel like, you know, Ocarina of Time, for instance, did it much better. Yes. Yes, they did. Not... I, mean, I don't mean to... to disparage this game at all, but I feel like... Ocarina of Time slightly maybe put effort into it, maybe? maybe slightly slightly more where this probably saw Ocarina of Time and thought like, oh we could make that game for half the cost. What if we just made this era add leads? <laughs> Four times. Go to the same guy. I mean, I do like they put in the effort to make it so that there are these are differently priced. Per era. I mean I guess, but it's like but that's why? almost an annoying mechanic because I don't want to travel to a different Dangerous. era to get a better price. But Make That's your traveling to a different era to get a better price is a great way to add five minutes of game time. <laughs> it's true. You know, it's it's a shame. It, it's it's the kind of thing because it feels like it makes this game almost feel like it's an open-ended thing, like it's an open-world game. Yeah. But it's not because you can really only do one thing I next, do, right? You only do one thing and other than like other than like hunting bees. Yeah, you can do the bee hunt stuff. Other than that, you just gotta do the main quest. Are there other races other than the one that you did? No, I don't think so. Okay. It's, it seemed like the kind of thing that I could have easily seen done in like one or two in every era. Yeah, they did not commit to that. They were just doing the simple... The oh, good, simple we go down the well again. Yeah, like this area was really cool the first time. Oh, yeah, this I is was, now like the fifth time we've been down here. I was really impressed by that. And uh, and now nothing. No, it's banal. I've yep. seen it too many times. Yep, you're going to jump there. Oh, you're going to realize you have to go back and hit the button. And, oh... You know what I was thinking about today? Anything else? Uh, well, yeah. But I was thinking about this style of, of, of platformer, and specifically the Crash Bandicoot games. Did you ever play those? I didn't, really. Those they were, were on the PS1? Yeah, those were fun. Yeah. I played one and two at a friend's house. I remember having a good time, though, because they, they were like this, but they were more like you were always running d almost like down a corridor. Right. Or like the, the levels were very linear, like straight line shaped, which was just a weird... Like half era of games. Go on. <laughs> like it's because it was like you're always running straight away from the camera. Right. You're you're never taking full ninety degree turns left and right. Right. You're just moving around in a straight corridor. There was like you know there's like a couple of years where that was how the, these kind of three D games are going, and then that just stopped. I mean, there are a lot of games like this now anyway, it seems like. No, and that's... This, a, that's this type of game has just fallen off. Which is a kind of a shame. I kind of like the, the adventure pl uh, platformer puzzler games. Yeah. And I feel like... I feel like once the Prince of Persia series stopped, like, yeah, it kind of died. That is kind of where it feels like it died. Or maybe it just... Maybe we say it died, but really it just evolved into what is now, like, the Assassin's yeah. Creed type of game. But even that, like, the Assassin's Creed games, they, they take it and they, they take those platforming sections, they kind of like, okay, we're going to take this, it's going to be in a temple, it's going to be completely disconnected from the rest of the game, Yeah, you're just going to go into, like, what, what was it, like, you'd go into a thing and turn a skull head upside down, it would open a secret passage, that's how they did it in the Ezio ones. Right. And then even, like, the Assassin's Creed 4 didn't even really have, have, have that much of it. No. It was more of the uh, climb to the top of a thing and then use your magic eyes to rotate a picture to your magic, your magic eyes. eyes. Do a magic eye puzzle. <laughs> yep. And be like, oh, it's a schooner. And <laughs> then... A schooner. Who's this guy? Oh, it's ah, the wizard. A knight at last. I can hardly believe it. I've been asking for help for ages. For those of you right. not up on it, we're now still collecting the, the moment, friggin' almanacs. We must make a good of which there are three. This we have one. Have to do. 
These are the things that are about, like, about you. You need to get rid of the things that are about you. Erase our history. To help, for the moment, I need you to do it according to the series of items. No. No. First, start the mechanism. Could you? Could you just go back in time and kill yourself? I've tried. Because I don't have time travel. Right. Right. That's true. So, um, after all the explanations, are you just gonna pull a lever? It's a shit puzzle. It's... The thing is, in fairness, it's actually not a shit puzzle, it's just with this game's terrible sense of controls, it's not fun to play. Okay. Oh, wait, is this, is this time platforming? Yeah. Ugh. <clears throat> so it's got a little bit of, like, a Mario 64-ness to it, in a way. Oh, Mario 64, that's a good game. Yep, that is a good game. We should be uh, playing that. We should be playing that. I don't know why we haven't played we that We should yet. play Mario 64. Yeah. Did you ever play any of the Donkey Kong Country games in 64? No. Uh, yes, I did. I played the Donkey Kong 64. Oh, okay. That I'm, was a fun one. I never played that one. That was really good. Was it? Really good. Okay. That was the one that actually came with, like, an expanded memory unit for the Nintendo Oh, that's 64. right, because it was... That was... I remember... I think it was uh, on one of the... Like, did you... Do you ever want... Or look at any of the Digino you know gaming stuff? No. I, I think it was actually... They bundled it with the expand memory thing because the game... Like, there was some bug that they, could, that they couldn't recreate with the expand memory thing in. So if, if you put the memory thing in, the bug went away. But if you had it out, it didn't work. So they basically just... Rather than fixing the bug, just gave away... That's awesome. Yeah. Gave away the expand memory thing. I think that's how a lot of people got that. That's how I got it. It was either that or Perfect Dark needed it. I assumed it just had it because it was a bigger game that needed more memory. I believe it which was. I totally would have. I would have bought. I believe it was because of that. It was because of the uh, that bug. bug. I mean, I. I well, I'm also basing all this off a YouTube you video the I may have seen icon. like three or four years ago, see. which is what someone will be doing off of ours. Nah, not not really. No, no. <laughs> you have to watch it to do that. Yeah, no one watches this. I, I, I can't even get like my parents to watch it. No, no, but and I've seen you try. Yeah, I've seen begging my parents. Please, yep, you got like the whole please watch my clockwork plays. orange set up, and you've got their eyes pried Ooh, open. Yeah, and the little eye drops. And my mom's just crying. Yep. She doesn't want to see it. Well, that's because you Excellent. don't have regular eye drops. You just put in like a little Thank menthol. You. Yeah, I, I'm putting an e-cigarette liquid. <laughs> yep, right in the eye. Right in the eye. In the nicotine in the eyes. It's just. <laughs> I mean, it keeps you alert. <laughs> yeah, but but in a way that doesn't keep you concentrated. No, it keeps you more screaming. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness. That was a fun day out. That anyway. was a fun day out. You ever use any of those mentholated eye drops? Uh, yes, I do. Are they nice? They're very nice. They're like putting ice in your eyes, so it hurts initially, but then it feels quite refreshing and clear afterwards. Okay. Like the uh, Rotos. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Roto is what I use. Well, I see commercials like Arctic, I think, is the one I, I Arctic. use. Arctic, ooh, that does yeah. sound... I think that's the coldest one. So it no fall like... damage there. Nope. Are we fighting another boss time? Nah, right right here is where I realize I don't really know what I'm doing. Might as well heal up. That's never a bad decision. Probably. Yeah. You're missing a lot of magics. Hey, this game. I... Well, I mean, look, but if we're if we're basing... Because normally I base the length of a game like in something like this, where you can see... Progression through what you have. Yeah, like, like uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. You can look at the inventory screen and see how many items you are away from not getting any more. That's true. Yeah, it was so much different back in the old days where inventory systems were usually limited to what the actual, like, possible inventory items were. Now they're just, like, lists. Right. And it they just... can be infinitely long or short. Not infinitely short, that's the same. <laughs> <laughs> infinitely short. How would... Is that a thing? I don't think so. Is infinitely short a thing that it, something can be? No, I don't think so. No, I guess not. Because it would just be zero. Yeah, I guess, yeah, because it can't always be approaching zero. Even if you do that, like, take it half of it every time yeah. and it still never reaches zero. Like, it's still, it's, it's not infinite, though, is it? Is it? I don't know. Maybe there is a sense in which you can have infinitely low number. I don't know. Man, it's you know, confusing. every once in a while, a very simple math question will come to my <laughs> mind, and I'll just feel like an idiot. Yep. I was actually, I was telling Aaron this this morning, you know, I feel real stupid. Adding two plus two? I was doing the dish dishes, opened the dishwasher, and the light didn't come on. And for five minutes, I figured out why the light didn't come on. Until I remember, there's no lights in dishwashers. There's no lights in dishwashers. There's no lights in dishwashers. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I was like, I kept opening it and closing it. I was looking at the, is the latch stuck? Is, it, is there one of the little things that, that lets you know it's open? There's, no, there isn't a light inside your dishwasher. It's not useful. Isn't it great when you get older and just feel, you don't have to be that old and your brain just feels like it's deteriorating? Oh, it just, it just stops. 
Because that's a thing that you just can't understand why you'd even consider it. <laughs> How did I ever get into the headspace mentally <laughs> where I would think that there would be a need of that and that it happened? And, like, almost to the point where you've created... Me I mean, you you don't just immediately recognize, like, oh, right, this wouldn't have a light. You're fooling around with it. You're thinking, like, I know the light used to work, <laughs> but the light didn't used to work. Never. There was never a light. Never worked. There was never any way to get a light to turn on in my dishwasher. Nope. But I, I was there looking at it, like... You know, you know, little thing, you can always tell on your on your fridge yep. where the thing is that that triggers the light on and off. Yep. And so I'm going on the edge, looking for that. And then it was about the time when I realized I couldn't figure out where the bulb was. Yeah. That because I was thinking like, oh, maybe the bulb burned out. No, there's no bulb in there. No bulb. Wouldn't wouldn't make sense. And then not it's, needed. Th th it's not needed. <laughs> now, it seems like you may be a bit confused right now as to what you should be doing. Is that is that coming through? Is it is coming through? Which is it's that's that's very good nonverbal communication. Yeah. And yeah, uh, I definitely don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna backtrack. This game is like backtrack the backtrack quest. Oh god. I would have gone with hype the backtrack quest there, but I don't know why I didn't take inventory of it here originally, but knowing the symbols on top of that. Hearth would have been very useful. This guy popped out of nowhere. So that was annoying. Oh, does, does the symbols of the hearth come in? Come in uh, it comes in handy, luckily, in a way that I'm able to solve without having it back there. Oh, good. But what is that? I don't remember being able to go in there the last time we in were here. here. Yeah. Well, this is how I came in. Oh. Huh. Nice paying attention. So, there. yeah, I mean, I, it's ridiculous. Nice, nice viewing comprehension. Dude, it all looks the same. I in know, a sense. dude. I know. I know. Like, it's just it's pipes. It's just, what is this, Half Life? Crawling around on pipes. Feels like it. Do you hear the whole Source 2 thing? It was like soft released with some Dota thing or yeah. something like that. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Oh, I fell off. And there's a button that you have to push. There is there. a button there. Oh, of course. Of course. Well, at least that was something. I figured out a thing I need to do. Yeah, that's nice. That's the best way for this game to go. And you know, the thing is, like, I, I like these kind of puzzle games, but it just, this is, for some reason, it's not even really a puzzle as much as it is just find the next button. Yeah. Which I guess is probably what what, what gets me with games like this. That you're not actually solving anything. Yup. You're just... And that was actually... And like that, there's no real indication that that would be a thing that you should do. But yeah, there's a but the only thing, the only way you can really work your way there is, thinking, is by looking at it and saying, like, I can climb up these pipes. Yep. And... There isn't a lot of decorative set pieces here, so there must be a reason. Yup. I did really like these these 2D guys. I thought it was really cleverly done. They really hurt me though here. This guy, this guy gives me a real a real ball thing. I mean, you're 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 kiting him pretty well. You're circle strafing him pretty decently. Yeah, but then he gets to be trapped in like a graphics glitch, <laughs> and I can't get away. He gets to be trapped in one of those things where you can see into your own brain. Well, it sucks because you can't since he has no. Depth when he's coming at you. Oh, it's do. impossible to know where he is. You have to, you have to like strafe uh, around. Strafe in the uh, what's, yeah. What is it when you, you know, when you come at a guy, um, with the in like battle when you're fighting, coming at a guy from the side, flanking, flanking. That's it. <laughs> you gotta flank him. That's it. Yeah, you military connoisseur <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> You're gonna say military fairy. <laughs> you military fairy. Was that what it was? Yep. Okay. I'll scratch your eyes <laughs> out. Oh, I'm gonna watch that again. All right. So here, at least I've recognized it. this is a pattern I need to remember. Yeah. So, okay. So I remember that. And I've got to go enforce it. That's really all this game is: seeing and then doing, seeing and then doing. Which, mm -hmm. granted, you could probably boil any game down to seeing and doing, but. <laughs> Well, anything. Anything in life. Anything in life is basically doing something you've seen. <laughs> yep. Um. I was gonna ask when, <laughs> how long this was or how much time we had left. Uh, well, I, we know. Now we know. <laughs> it, it's done. So, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Thanks for making it to the end of our video and seeing this little end bit that we've put together. If you like what you saw and want to see more stuff like this, subscribe and like our videos and put a bunch of comments telling us what you liked about it and what kind of other stuff you'd want to see. And if you didn't like it, tell us why and subscribe anyways so that you can see if we do better next time. Thanks! Bye!